voters in two Lynn County school districts will decide physical plant and equipment levies, also known as PEPL. Both the Cedar Rapids Community School District and the North Lynn Community School District are asking voters to approve taxpayer-supported funding to help maintain and upgrade facilities. KCRG TV9's Connor Woodruff talked with leaders from both school districts about today's vote. Well, the North Lynn and Cedar Rapids Community School Districts only have a PEPL vote once every 10 years. Along with maintaining and upgrading schools, this funding also helps districts plan for more long-term and expensive projects. In the Cedar Rapids Community School District, voters today are being asked to renew the existing PEPL for another 10 years. Renewing it will not increase property tax rates. Keeping it at $1.34 for every $1,000 their property is worth. The CRCSD has received tens of millions of dollars from PEPL over the last 50 years. The district is confident that voters will renew it. They say a survey last spring found 70% of voters are in favor of renewing the levy. PEPL is vital to the success of our community schools. Um, they, without PEPL, we aren't able to do a lot of the maintenance projects that we need to have happen. So if we were not able to pass PEPL um, this go around, um, then we would have to really reanalyze how we're using the remainder of that money that comes in um, and how we're going to use the save money to supplement those uh, maintenance projects. The Northland Community School District is also asking voters to renew their PEPL. Doing so, we keep the property tax rate also at $1.34 for every $1,000 a property is worth. Being a smaller school district, they rely on this money to fix their older buildings. And like with Cedar Rapids, they view this vote as essential, especially for technology services and maintenance. As a small school district, you need to look at um, um, contracting with other agencies in order to do, get technology services. So where larger school districts have the ability to fund an IT position, we don't have that ability because we're too small. So we contract out our services um, uh, for any IT needs that we might have and the PEPL allows us to utilize that money in order to pay for those contracted services. There's also a revenue purpose statement for Central City Schools. This could determine what schools are able to spend money on. and In this case, it would be replacing the roof for Central City's connected school building. Polls will be open today from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. To find your voting location, you can visit LynnCountyIowa.gov. In the studio, Connor Woodruff, KCRG TV9 News.